friends turned enemies unable to come clean in a rising fog of reeking death. Good lord! It's so metal! Hello there, Opethians. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi. It's Lauren here. Welcome back for more Opeth. So, I just sort of picked one. When I hear Bang of the Hounds, I think of Sherlock Holmes, and I think of this. I don't know if you guys can relate. All right, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. That sounds like the end of the song, right? Hey, demon. what that was that I was following but that was kind of fun. I was just reading the lyrics. That's intense. Okay. Demon is back. They're doing that Opeth thing. The best part is you know exactly what I mean when I say they're doing that Opeth thing. I think you do. Moog. So it's not purr it's pear. Pear? What the heck is a moog? I'm gonna have to look. A moog synthesizer. Okay. Get it, Pear. And Martin Mendez, who I'm just officially obsessed with now. He has been with the band since I started this thing. Yes, of course. He's... But for some reason, he has just flown under the radar for a year. Bass guy. Anyways. Alright, why am I pausing it? What was I gonna say? God. So they're doing some cool rhythms. They're doing some triplets in here because I know what that is. The rhythms are just interesting because they're not just like, they just add like, doo -doo -doo. there's like a little pause and then they, this is why I don't talk about the music because I just sound like a big moron. These lyrics are something else. His words are flies. Swarming toward the true insects, feasting on buried dreams. What? That is so metal. And spreading decay upon your skin. His eyes spew forth a darkness that cut through and paralyze. Cast light upon your secrets, forced to confront your enemies. Oh, it keeps going. His mouth is a vortex. We're not there yet. But what? What in the world? These are some awesome lyrics. I mean, that's just like... Good description. When your English teacher tells you to add some description in your essay, this is what they mean. If you're writing a story and it's lacking in detail, this is what you do. Just a little lesson in descriptive writing on top of everything else that they do. All right, let's keep going.
Yeah, I know that sucked. You don't have to tell me, but I have to go back because I was in the wrong spot. I didn't realize we had already heard that his mouth is a vortex. All right, let's continue the poem. His mouth is a vortex sucking you into its pandemonium, fools you with the helping hand of ashes, reached out in false dismay. His body is a country. The cities lay dead and beyond despair. Friends turned enemies unable to come clean in a rising fog of reeking death. Good Lord. It's so metal. Oh my God. That's, that's so fantastic. That's so awesome. The cities, I got to read it again. That's so good. His city, no. His body is a country. The cities lay dead and beyond despair. Friends turned enemies unable to come clean in a rising fog of reeking death. What? Oh my God. That's fantastic. Sung by a non-demon would not have the power, the, the punch, the, uh, effect of a demon singing it. There's no way. If someone like me, who is not a huge fan of the demon, can say that, then I can only imagine you demon fans, that kind of verse is made for a demon. That is a demon verse. You can't just be normal dude and sing that. It's like, what? No one's even going to take you seriously. They're just going to zone out halfway through. But if you're a demon and you're singing that, oh man, this song is kind of awesome. I've been listening to this band for a year and yet they still have songs that are this good that I haven't heard yet. That is amazing to me. We still have so much more of the song to do. This is going to be the longest video ever. I decided not to go back because you know what I'm really liking this song a lot. So we have this demon describing this thing with all of these awesome descriptions. The rising fog of reeking death. His eyes spew forth the darkness. Spreading decay across your skin. Then it's like you are everything. They are nothing. It's like one of those mantras you would see on Instagram with like, you know, little flower. I know I'm missing the point entirely, but... That just really struck me. After all that um, description in the beginning, and now it's like, yes, queen. <laughs> 
You are everything, they are nothing. You all right? Then we had a cool little keyboard section. I don't know, this song is just really cool. There's just too many good songs. Like, I understand, but at the same time, it's like, what? How did this go under the radar for so long? There's an ad, so I'm just gonna start it right where it is. That was so okay. That was such a position. Someone had asked me in a comment section somewhere what my favorite band to do reactions for is. And I said Opeth. And the reason for it is a moment like that. Because you start the song and you hear this demon telling you about wreaking death. And you just think, no way are you going to get this little moment that we just heard that was amazing. I love not only how many different sections they do, but how vastly different they are in tone, in timing, in vocal, in whatever, like all of it. You just never know what's gonna happen. Oh. It's those bass notes that are just really, really something.
they suck when I point it out. There's another ad. Are you serious? Oh, pet. That's twice. It's not them. They have no say over that. But... <laughs> Okay, I think it was the demon. I think the demon put the ads in there. He was like, oh my God, this is so boring. I was going to point out what I assume is a timpani and then it stopped as soon as I pointed, then it stopped, but that was cool. I don't remember a song having so many different sounds in it. Like different, I don't know. They're just like putting everything in here. If there's another ad in here, I'm gonna lose it. It's back, the Tiffany. trip so lyrically here before the demon is describing but now he is saying i i am too weak to resist i would devote myself to anyone i would accept my flaws i really like these lyrics but as far as what it's all about i don't know <laughs> but i can point out the the awesomeness of them oh my god this song just has like everything going on i mean really i just don't remember there being so much keyboard like the whole way through so loving that, I'm looking forward to hearing it again all the way through and I'll be right back. Hello again, Opethians. What I find the most interesting about it is the, the demon at first, because if I think of a song like Ghost of Perdition, it also starts with the demon. Still, after all this time and as many times as I have heard that song, I still have trouble with that demon, the beginning demon. But this song, the demon, just fits so well lyrically by far but also just in the mix i guess with everything else it just fits and it might also be because it's a little quicker but goes to perdition demon is just that like long drawn out roar demon because i don't mind the demon in this song like maybe at all i mean i'm aware that there is a demon but i'm not like Mm, I don't know about this demon. So thank you so much, Opethians, for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and your week, and I'll see you for the next one. This is on the Ghost of Perdition album. That's not what it's called. Ghost Reveries? Not, is it Ghost? Something Reveries. Reveries? What did I do with the... I've lost my mind. No, seriously, what did I do? Did I close that? Are you serious? Oh, here it is. Ghost Reveries, that's what I thought. Ghost Reveries.